Hey guys, this is here with Prolific Breed. I'm back with another box. Pro Tim, he said that I'm dumping a lot of money into my fish tanks. And my response to him was, it's only money. I got issues and I'm buying things to solve them. So for this package, I bought a cleanup crew because I have an outbreak of algae in the reef tank, the lagoon. With this um, delivery, it's always good to have friends in the same hobby because we kind of combined our orders to save on shipping. Um, Johnson, he bought a bunch of fish and also his cleanup crew. So I went ahead and added to his order. I got a peppermint shrimp in here. Wow, she looks buried. Has a bunch of eggs on the bottom of her. I don't know if you guys could see that. She looks buried, so I, I don't know anything about raising out um, marine shrimp, but hopefully I get a bunch of little babies. That's good news. I got a sea urchin pin cushion. I don't know why, but I saw it on the list for only about six or seven dollars, so I went ahead and ordered. Um, I got two scarlet, no, not this one, two scarlet hermit crabs in here. and a bunch of snails. I don't even remember what I ordered. Maybe they're turbo snails, but I'll put an annotation in. I gotta get back to Johnson and see what, what I ordered. I think it's 10 right here. So I have algae all over my rack and underneath my rack where I can't reach. So I hope these guys can um, help me out with cleaning that and I also have algae all over my rack and in between my rack these are other hermit crabs I don't know which variety I know I ordered two scarlets and um, Johnson he gave me these for free just right now when I picked them up so he already acclimated them to his tank so the pH and everything should be fine. So these guys right here, I can just drop into my tank. But everyone else, I need to do an acclimation. So I dropped the first batch in because Johnson already acclimated the hermit crabs to his water parameters. And my water parameter is similar to his. So I just dropped them in without doing any steps on my end. Let me see if I could zoom focus for you guys. So they're in here and they got a buffet of algae right now. So underneath my rack, whatever sunlight is getting through on the slots, it's creating algae, a lot of algae. And I can't reach in there with my hands or anything like that. So I'm hoping these Hermit crabs and snails would help me out with the algae underneath the rack. Um, I also have a lot of algae on the plugs. Before getting this cleanup crew, I only had one snail in here and he would go to town, but there's only so much he, he could do. So some of the plugs you'll see like half of it is clean and then the other half has algae. He'll give up and then move on. But yeah, all of these new guys right here, I'm temp acclimating them and then I'll drip them in. I'm very curious with the shrimp because she's buried. I'm gonna do a lot of research on um, raising out shrimp. I know a lot about freshwater shrimp and keeping them alive, but Let's see what I need to do to keep these babies alive once they come. 
she's buried up and I don't know how much more time she has before she releases her her babies just another shot the hermit crabs they're all up in here This is what I have so far. I temp acclimated them by floating them inside the tank. And I took them out of the bag and put them in these red solo cups. Sea urchin, shrimp, snails, and two hermit crabs. So usually when I do acclimation, I, I do a drip acclimation. But since I have four things, here at once I don't want to make four drippers so to save time I'm going to use this pipette um, it's a tool that I use to feed the corals so when you squeeze this in it'll suck in some water and you squeeze it again water will come out so every five or ten minutes I'll come by and I'll, I'll squeeze in some tank water to get them acclimated to my um, pH and all of the other parameters that I have. Let me get that going and we'll drop them in soon. I dropped everyone in. The shrimp is front and center. You can see her berries underneath her belly. So I'll keep an eye on her and see how things are going. All of the snails are in. They're all over the place and some of them I, I dropped them strategically onto the plugs to let them work on that already. But I put them on the rack. Hermit crabs are in also, you can see one right here. And the sea urchin, I put them up on top. So I was looking at the clowns my small clown is getting a little worse. His tail is definitely um, messed up. So I medicated the tank with this Mila fix. I'm gonna do it for the next three days to see what's going on, but very disappointed that this is even happening with this new fish. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm not keeping my hopes up. He looks really bad. Um, kind of spotted issues in the beginning, but I didn't know for sure. And it looked like he was getting better, but then all of a sudden, overnight, it just looks really bad today. He's still trying. Should I help him? Or just let him learn? <laughs> Oh my god, see the snails pushing the plugs up. What the? <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that. It's almost there. If that little tip at the end See how strong he is. Keep an eye on this guy. Oh no, he's grabbing the snail. Alright, I don't want to waste too much of your time. These guys are doing great. They're fun to watch also. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Looks like he's on.